Mahavatar Babaji, World Communications, September 2023. Greetings everyone. It is within the wonder, resonance, luminosity, and effluence of the Supreme Lord Narayana through which I come in eternal love to you all. We bring forward from on high the creative process in which I greet you all with love and blessings in this world communication. I am with you always. A time of accounting has come into the worldview of each individual and those of the world who are leaders in all the fields of national and world attention to governance. There is necessity for business transactions for the survival of the body and also in all avenues of living a human life in the 21st century. At this moment of world history in the making, situations due to climate disaster occurrences across the globe bring to the forefront of human existence fear and uncertainty everywhere. Many restless and sleep-deprived nights presently bring humanity to begin to address the necessity of finding security within the self. And this is divine will. And it is partially due to the structure of society, which now looks like shifting sand dunes that can be mesmerizing to view and fearsome when shifting sandstorms arise. Change and destruction happens daily in places around the globe as world information comes over the airwaves a present time to inform those who choose to listen. You are in a storm of momentous change for the good of all life. Yet the Supreme Lord, knowing this time would come to humanity, has offered a lifeline, a safety course one may take with certainty for one's survival after this life. Everyone has an eternal soul, the Atma, by many, in such uncertainty and circumstances in which you exist in present time, are not certain of continuance of life. The simple way for one to create security and peace of mind in this present age is to chant the divine name of your choice, such as Sri Vitala Giridhari Parabrahmane Namaha. Lord Krishna left a record of his teaching 5,000 years ago, which is relevant and contains his blessing for present time. The omniscient Lord assures you and promises that each Atma is eternal, and you can read about it all, preferably at least once a week, in this gift of Krishna's Bhagavad Gita. His teaching has survived the test of time. To grasp mentally Krishna's knowledge in proportion using time as your reference. Think of how many times humanity thinks about and spends time growing, transporting, preparing, cooking food, and so forth. And then comes the time spent in consuming and cleaning up after eating the food, each meal of each day. This all goes on endlessly for the 365 days of a year. And if you read in the Bhagavad Gita once a week minimum for a year, this adds up to 52 times a year. Think about eating food 365 days of a year and how many times a day you eat and all the people that labored in the sun and rain, heat and cold and so on to make food available for you. Then think about reading in the Bhagavad Gita in which you will find solace and nourishment for the Atma one soul. Krishna's knowledge and teaching nourishes your eternal soul, which lasts eternally, while food and the body exists for a short time on earth. Weigh all this in the balance of your possible life actions and choose wisely. And you will know within the self that you are eternal in this world's uncertainty and currently shifting sands are divinely God's will and long-term planning for this age. And God gives you the option or a little free will to choose, but choosing God first and predominantly is wise. You will feel secure in these uncertain times when you love and trust in him. Remember always that happiness is a choice 
without reservation, when you are living life beyond the mind and dive into the heart of the Atma, the soul. Babaji, in all of life, you eventually have to pay the balance. Why not choose God first in present time and become free, liberated? Then what is the fee for happiness and certainty in this life? The fee is attaining eternal love that God and Guru gift with grace. Indeed, this is a way of being that cannot be weighed like gold. It is written, and so it is. Mahavatar Babaji, champion of all people everywhere. From Paramahamsa Vishwananda, transforming our negative qualities. Mankind is made in such a way that the attention is always turned towards the outside. And this is the search to go inside. The moment you stop judging, the moment you stop looking for fault in others, you will start truly loving everyone. And for that, you must start looking within yourself, looking for what you have to change in your life, not in a judging way, but look at negative parts of you and face them. By looking at the negativity, you will see that you create the negativity. It is the same when we do yagna, it is not just on the outside that the change is happening. Actually, it is the inside that is getting transformed. We are doing a continuous offering of our qualities. We uproot one by one all of these qualities and transform them. We transform them until finally we have the love of God that stays. That's realization. To receive his grace to manifest his love and to beam his love. That's the duty of each human being. Poem by an anonymous author. Message from Swamini. May the words of this simple but heart-touching poem resonate for you with the words of Param Guru Mahavatar Babaji and Satguru Paramahansa Vishwananda. We offer the poem to you as it resounds throughout the centuries of earth life within the teachings in this world communication. Words. Eyes express the real feeling better than touch. Touch shows the care better than words. But words, if used properly, can wet the eyes and touch the heart. Jai Guru Dev, everyone. Om. Om.